I have to ask a question. What's the deal with putting these pictures of African children on our t-shirts? Now, I understand the good intent. I understand the efforts we're trying to mobilize people. But what if these were pictures of our children on these t-shirts? And yet we have no relationship with these children. In what ways does this exemplify respect and dignity? You see, when we start dehumanizing the poor, what ends up happening is it says that we have no desire to build equal mutual relationships with them. We have no interest in their stories. We believe stereotypes that have been told about them. We believe the lie that they have nothing to teach us. You see, when we're not interested in genuine mutual relationships, we rob people of dignity and they become just mere projects. God did not intend for His creation to become projects. Some time ago, I received a letter from a friend in South Africa. And I want to read that letter to you because it speaks about the importance of the stories that we tell, of the people that we support, partner, come alongside, and that we even learn from. Eugene, we know you run a development and humanitarian organization. Thank you for your work. But as you share the stories of difficulties and pain, don't forget to share the stories of beauty, hope, courage, and love. Please be responsible in your storytelling. Please tell your Western countries that Africa is not a dangerous place full of warmongers and child soldiers and starving, helpless, and desperate people. Please tell your folks that while we appreciate love, prayers, and support, we are not in need of the Western white saviors or Asian saviors for that matter. We are proud, we are beautiful, we have a history, we have beautiful stories and songs. We are not perfect, but we too are created in the wondrous image of God. Respect, dignity, mutuality, reciprocity. As much as we have to share, we also have much to learn. Let's not reduce people into projects.